What's up everybody? My name is Mark and thanks for tuning in to Hawk Performance. We have this awesome 2015 Volkswagen Golf GTI and I'm going to show you guys the tools and parts you need to get the job done. Let's get started. Today we're going to be installing Hawk Performance Talon rotors and Hawk Performance Street brake pads. As far as the tools go, you'll need some gloves, a ratchet or two, a vice grip, Phillips screwdriver, a flathead, a deadbill hammer, a mallet, and a C-clamp. The install can be done no problem on jack stands, but since we had the honor of doing the install at Supreme Power, we're going to get this GTI up on a lift. Let's get these wheels off so we can have access to the hub. We'll remove the two bolts holding onto the caliper carrier. We'll rest it on the suspension arm for now and ensure that the brake line isn't being bent or stressed. Now we can take off the caliper bracket by removing these two bolts. It might be pretty snug so a few solid hits with a mallet should get it going. The rotors on this GTI have a torque screw that needs to be removed first in order to take off the rotor. Use a flathead to pry off the hub ring. The rotor should be on there pretty snug, so grab that mallet again and give it a few solid hits. Remember to use a scotch Brite pad or some sandpaper to remove any rust on the surface before installing the new rotor. The countersunk hole on your new rotor should be lined up with the threaded hole in the hub. Once everything is lined up, we can tighten the torque screw back in place. First thing we'll do is remove the brake reservoir cap. Reinsert that old brake pad and using a C-clamp, begin to compress the piston so that it's sitting flush with the surface. We'll be installing the Hawk High Performance Street 5.0 pad. Grab the included gearhead grease pack and apply an even film on your brake pads. Now we can start reassembling the caliper components. Ensure that the rotor is able to spin freely and that there isn't too much tension. That's a wrap on the rotor and pad install. Now we can mount the wheel and tighten our lugs hand tight. Simply repeat these steps on all corners. With the car on the ground, we can properly torque the lug nuts. Screw your brake reservoir cap back on and now we can start building brake pressure. Give it a few solid pumps and you should feel it start to stiffen up. Close your hood and now we're ready to start beginning the bedding end process. Start with some 30 to 35 mile per hour runs and come to a rolling stop, not a complete stop, and repeat 6 to 10 times. Follow up with 2 or 3 harder stops from 40 to 45 miles per hour and allow your brakes to cool down. If you see smoke, don't be alarmed. This is actually a good sign of proper bedding and procedure. That about wraps it up for this install. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, we'll see you at the racetrack.